Good morning. Good morning. Well, I haven't been on here for ages. Christine Burke here from Perth, West Australia. And it's a gorgeous morning here. I thought I'd use the black and white filter today. I'm at the park with my pups and I uh, just took my kids to school and I wanted to get on here today to share some brilliant insights into something that I've been doing for seven days. I talked about it, uh, I'm gonna get cut off here. I talked about it uh, last week. I started seven days of scripting. Thank you, Peter Kelly, for the challenge. Uh, I'm inside a really awesome coaching group and on the call last week, we were challenged to do seven days at least of scripting. So what is scripting? And uh, what kind of awesome value have I got about it, uh, got from it? And I think you will get some value from this too. If you are somebody who's looking for more happiness, more juice, more drive, um, more income in your life, it's these little things that we can do day after day after day that have a compounding effect. So cool. Christine Burke from Ignite Your Inner Bliss coming from Perth, West Australia. Hey, Jen. Hi, lovely. I'm just going to message you after I finish this. Um, and look, so I've been doing seven days straight of scripting and I got to be honest, my goal was to do it twice a day. Um, and that didn't work. I realized that, um, I could only commit to doing it once a day. Um, but I felt that that was good. So what is scripting exactly? I don't really know. Um, but this is, this is the term that, that PETA used. And it's basically when we think of scripts, we think of somebody who's written a story that's yet to be told, right? It's like a script for a movie that somebody's going to um, to produce, right? And that people are going to watch, right? So a script is like laying the foundation for your future. It's laying the foundation for how you want your life to unfold, right? And a lot of people don't realize, um, I never did, that we actually can... We, we can construct our lives, right? We have the ability, and I just did a, a live inside of our She Can group talking about change and uh, the fact that it's always a matter of motivation, not a matter of skill or, or, um, uh, or desire or uh, ability, right? It's always about motivation. So we do have the power to attract the things that we want in our life. And I'm reading the law of attraction again at the moment. And uh, it's just so, so true. So my three tips on why scripting um, is great. And what I've learned just from seven days of scripting. So what have I learned from seven days of scripting? My three tips. <laughs> Hey, Ange, great to see you on here. Um, so seven days of scripting. So I scripted in the morning. First, the first thing I thought about was at what point in the day do I feel the best? At what point in the day do I feel the strongest? Do I feel most empowered? Do I feel really good, right? Because if we're going to do something that is um, involves energy and involves um, scripting on how we want our life to look like, it's a good idea to pick a time where you feel good, right? And nighttime is not a great time for me. I, I'm up pretty early and I'd like to kind of cruise into my night and spend time with the kids and put them to bed and maybe have a glass of wine and uh, get into bed and do some reading and all that, right? So I chose to do my scripting in the morning. Hey, Ange, thanks for coming on, babe. Um, I chose to do mine in the morning, preferably after the gym, because for me, training is so huge. It's like my power zone. I feel freaking on fire after I train at the gym. So that's the first takeaway is if you're going to do the scripting, Find the time where you feel good, where you feel fueled, where you feel pumped. Maybe that's nighttime for you. Maybe it's the middle of the day. Maybe it's after you've done a yoga class. Maybe it's after you've made love to your lover. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, and and uh, whatever it is for you. So the first thing is, is pick a time where you feel awesome. Okay? 
And sometimes we don't feel awesome. And that's, you know, another trick to the whole thing, right? Is that we don't always feel awesome. And if we, if we always wait for a time when we feel awesome, well, we'll be waiting sometimes for some people forever, right? But generally pick a time where you feel good, right? And so what did I get from this scripting just for the first seven days? Okay. The first thing was it really has allowed me to hone in on my driving thing. Hey, Belinda. Great to see you, babe. It's allowed me to, to really remind myself and, and, and hone into that thing inside. Like what is driving me to do this stuff? Like get on Facebook lives to, um, I alternate morning and sometimes night. Yeah, cool, babe. Cool. Um, and, um, you know, what, what's driving me to do all this stuff that I do to be constantly pushing myself all the time, right? Um, so it allowed me to really latch on to that again. And I actually cried. Like I, I wrote like four or five pages of stuff um, of this. I just picked a scene of something and just started writing. And I was in tears. Like I was so emotional. It was unbelievable. And I was just like, oh, my God this is huge. And it was something that I, that I hadn't thought about for a really long time. And it was something that I didn't realize was a big part of my why huge. And if I keep going like this, I'm going to start crying. Um, so that was the first big takeaway. And this is important, you guys, it's really important to work out what that thing is inside of you. Cause we weren't born to be bloody robots. We were born to do have impact, you know, however big or small we were born, Put on this planet for a reason we all have a purpose and maybe you feel like you're already like living into that purpose and that is awesome um, but there's always more there's always more there's always a next level there's always you know more happiness to be had there's more money to be had there's dreams to be rocked out there is always always more so first thing connecting with my why from scripting for seven days if you're just getting on here now was huge 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 right um, and like they say, your why makes you cry. You know, it's true. Um, the second thing is it really has helped solidify my DMO, my daily method of operation, right? So again, if you don't have a DMO, you need to get one and get one fast, right? So what are you doing every single day, right, that's keeping you in your game, right? Um, because, you know, that saying, don't sweat the small stuff is bullshit. It is bullshit, right? So like, don't sweat the small stuff. If somebody says something to you, yeah, whatever. But the small stuff, like getting up 15 minutes earlier to, um, to like go through an awesome morning routine, to do scripting, to do some affirmations, to train in the morning, to get the gym done, you know, under your belt first thing in the morning so that when your head hits the pillow at night, you think, God damn, I feel great because I did all those things that I know have this compounding effect day after day after day to get me farther to where I want to go, right? So second benefit of scripting every day is it really helped me solidify even more my daily routine, right? And um, so the third thing I would say, and I had it in my head and now I can't think of what it was, um, it just kept me accountable to myself. And I announced it on Facebook last week that I was doing it. And I thought, okay, well, I need to be accountable. I announced it to my team that I was doing it. Um, I told my kids that I was doing scripting because they're like, oh, mom, you're writing more than usual this week, right? So accountability is huge, is absolutely huge, right? So um, nothing ever big really happens without you linking arms with somebody and being accountable to somebody. So um, that was a really big thing as well. So there's my three um, takeaways that I got from my first seven days of really honing in on some scripting. And if you missed at the start, you know, scripting, um, this came from a challenge that I had um, given in a, in a special coaching group that I'm part of. Um, and so, you know, my challenge to you is why don't you give it a go? Why don't you give scripting a go? Seven days of spending like 10 to 15 minutes of just writing out your life. What's coming? Who are you meeting? What are you doing? What life experiences are you going to have? Um, who are you going to meet? Like, um, you know, what, what kind of uh, 
you know, house are you going to have? Car are you going to have? Yes, you can get excited about material things. Absolutely. Like, don't let anyone tell you you can't, you know, um, like whose lives are you going to impact and how are you going to do it? You know, it's it's just uh, and there's like really, guys, there's a thousand ways to uh, to do this kind of thing. Scripting is really powerful, I think, because you're writing out a story. Hey, Keith. Hey, Shauna. Thanks for dropping in, guys, because um, you're writing a story, and it's like a script, right? And we all do <clears throat> we all do have the power to script out the rest of our life from today forward. So I hope you got some value from that. Three tips that I got um, so far from seven days of scripting. And um, I get on here nearly every day. I've been a, a, bit, uh, a bit slack the last few days. I was camping and out of uh, range. But I do get on here most days. Hey, Ian. Um, and because I'm really fired up, material things for impacting people. Exactly. Um, I get fired up about mindset and personal growth. I'm on a freaking phenomenal growth journey. Um, and I get really fired up and I'd love to share as much value. Um, hey, Kristen, as I possibly can on here and uh, but I do I do run a side business and I actually help people make money from growing. I help people make money, bring more money into their household from growth, from personal growth. And I don't talk about it a lot because I'm, I'm just so fired up about talking about the personal growth side of it. But if you are uh, looking to work with me or work closer with me, please feel free to private message me, reach out. We can have a chat and see whether you would be a fit for my team. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there and get on with my day. And uh, thanks for jumping on. I will be here tomorrow. Promise, promise. And I'm uh, going to talk about something else that uh, is fun and exciting. Have a good day, night, wherever you are in the world, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.